Hello, my name is Christy Womack, and I am here today to discuss how to create a case and use some tools in order to manage cases via a dashboard or by your individual tasks. First, let's start out with creating a case. You can either have your system set up to generate a case when an email comes in to say support at insert company name here dot com or manually adding it, which is what I will be showing you today. Let's go into support and click on cases. Now we're going to click the plus sign to open a new case. Next, we will input the business account and the contact person who reached out needing our assistance, along with a brief subject on the issue. In this video, we will use ABC Studios, Mill Simpson as our contact, and this subject will be needs a form modified. Now let's make ourselves the owner. On the details tab, we will go more in depth of the issue. This one we will say need to fix the formatting on the invoice form. Now we're going to go ahead and save the case. As a manager, we can have a dashboard set up to show us what is going on at a high level. And if we click on any of these items, it will take us into a more detailed information. You can see which the high priority cases are, how many cases are open by owner, the severity, all sorts of information. As an employee, or a support tech, we also have dashboards available. If we want to see if there are any tasks associated with our cases, we can click Time and Expenses and Tasks. If you click on the My Tasks, this will show you all of the tasks that are open for you. You can see that a few of these are tasks attached to an opportunity. It does not matter where the task is originated from, opportunities or cases or anything like that, projects, it will show up under the My Tasks tab. If you click on the summary, it actually brings you to the task. You can review it. Make sure you actually complete the task that way it'll remove itself from your task list and it'll show up in your completed tasks. Or you can do a complete and follow up. That basically completes this task. And the reason these are showing up red is because they are overdue from the original due date. The task will stay on the task list until you mark it as complete. If you don't want to use a dashboard, you can always click on cases and it will show you all of the records we have. Or if you click on My Cases tab, this only shows you the particular cases that you are assigned to. Being a support tech, this is telling me these are my open cases and I do have an overdue case. Clicking on these items will tell us which one it is. And if we click on the case, this gives us more information and then we can work the case or we can change our statuses. Maybe we've waiting on the customer to give us more information. That's why it's past due. Maybe we've given them the answer and we're just waiting for them to say yes, that fixed my problem. Once you are done with your cases, you go ahead and mark it as closed and you have different options. Hopefully most of them are resolved, but sometimes they do get canceled or a customer gets a little happy and sends you a couple of emails 
and there's a duplicate. Once you have resolved your case, go ahead and save and close. It removes it from your open. And then you can go look at either closed cases. That's it. Go out and enjoy your day.